Alright, I'm making a video uh, using this product. Let's see. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Ooh. I guess it's KH515. I get it from Home Depot. I don't remember what I paid for it. I bought it a while back. Um, I previously made a video uh, showing a compressor that I repaired. Um, a leak on the compressor shell, the steel shell. Uh, this product is pretty easy to use. Um, it's, it's a flux coated rod. The, it doesn't tell me the melting temperature. I try to look online, it doesn't tell me, but it seems as the temperature is, is really high. Um, so it's not really recommended, in my opinion, for for brazing copper to copper for refrigeration. Uh, HAC or whatever it produces a lot of uh, soot on the pipe um, but here it states flux coated bronze is a general purpose copper based brazing alloy rod used extensively for gas brazing steel other copper alloys cast iron nickel alloys and stainless steel so on the internet it also mentions you can uh, braze brass I mainly use it for steel when I'm out in the field maybe I have to make an L bracket or something or like this here is a ring that I made for holding my oxygen tank uh, in the van on my shelf uh, this here is the connection it's a little bit dirty but it's been sitting out here in the rain for uh, maybe about two three weeks so I'm going to swage up uh, several of these uh, pipes and try it out on copper to copper and see how the joint comes out all right. I'm going to clean up all these fittings and swage a couple fittings and then I'll get back to the video all right so here I got a 3 8 uh, this one's swagged or swage whatever you like to call it expanded joint and the, you know I cleaned it up I'm gonna put this in there this is 3 8 copper uh, I also have 3 quarter copper to copper I'll do next so let's see Grab this with. Let me get the rag. Uh, actually, it doesn't look too bad. The joint doesn't look too bad. Clean this up. So this here is a joint. It looks pretty good. It's sealed up pretty good. 
Um, the only thing I don't like is the copper for it to melt. It almost has to get red hot, like the copper that starts to change colors a little bit. And the problem with that is you weaken the copper when you overheat it like that. But, uh, I mean, I guess if you're in a jam, it'll work. I mean, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm not a professional, but uh, I'm going to do the three-quarter. We'll see how that one turns out. Let me set it all up, and I'll start the camera again. Alright, so now we, this is a three-quarter copper to copper. And let's see how this one comes out. So, the joint itself comes out looking pretty good. It looks, looks pretty good. I mean, if you want to tell your customer you you braze with gold then I guess that'll work good for that um, kind of looks like it but uh, in the field I never tried it uh, copper to copper actually this is my first time trying it I would stick to my 15% or 5% silver uh, brazing rod but uh, it's just for demonstration purposes uh, this is a 3 8 and this is a Three quarter, but I guess in a pinch, maybe it'll work. But mainly, what I use it for is uh, like this for steel, putting steel together. Maybe I have to do an L bracket. I want to relocate a disconnect box, uh, put a unit on the wall, or something like that. I I braze up steel to steel, and then I paint it. And for me, it's been holding up for years, but. Uh, Maybe I'll do a piece of steel to steel. Uh, let me set it up and then I'll put the camera back on. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, I have this uh, piece of steel this I got from Home Depot, like a piece of band steel or whatever you like to call it. I'm just gonna braze on this to that, this little steel stick to here. I don't know if in the video you can see I cleaned up the tips a little bit with sandpaper just to get the residue off. Um, that, that's how I made this circle for my... Uh, I made a rack to hold my nitrogen, my acetylene, and oxygen tanks. I orig This was originally made out of this metal band or whatever, this flat steel. And then I've, I 
put it around the tank and I t made it real tight and right where it met I cut it and then I brazed this up with this flux coated rod so we're gonna go ahead and try to put this on there and see how if it's super strong Put it down. So let's see. Cool it off a little bit. So this here is how it came out. I'll put a focus. Oh, oh. My camera started to fall. Uh, you know, that's just a quick demonstration. I mean, it's. I mean, this thing's on there really strong, and you know, when it it's not gonna come off. I'm trying to pry it off but you can see the whole thing is bending if I try to pull it I mean that thing's on there good so it's not coming off but maybe in the field you have to rig something up to make a quick filter grabber or something like that you know whatever sometimes you're in the field and you need to rig up a piece of steel real quick you know, you, maybe you drop your striker in the unit. You need to pick it up, get it out like that. It works good for that. So, 